um, conferencing is something we will want to go over. Okay, I actually held off on teaching you about conferencing on the Polycom because of the underlying behavior of how a, a conference works, right? So if you're on a Polycom and you need to perform a conference call, let's say bring in Luke into a three-way conference call rather than transfer a call to him, you actually press that more key that I showed you earlier and you press conference and guess what the phone's gonna ask you for? It's gonna ask you for the extension that you'd like to conference in, right? And you type the extension, let's say one, two, three, four, and at that point, what does it do? Well, it'll actually do it in a consultative manner, meaning it puts Susie on hold, it rings Luke exclusively, he picks up, and then I can say, hey Luke, I have Susie on the other line, are you available to be part of through a conference call? If he says yes, I simply press the same key that I pressed um, to start the conference. So I press more, I press conference, and now I'm in a three-way conference call, okay? It's a consultative transfer uh, type method of bringing them together. There are more options for conferencing. I'll go over that shortly. Um, but again, I just wanted to show you the underlying behavior of how that works on the Polycom. How does that work here on our desktop application? Well, if I just press add, again, we're gonna imagine we're on the phone with Susie and I wanna bring Luke into this call. I press add. And notice at the top it says enter name or number. So I don't even need to know Luke's phone number or his extension for that matter. I can simply type in his name. There we go. Click him. And now I'm good to go to actually start calling him. Now what this is gonna do is essentially do the same underlying behavior, right? So it puts Susie on hold and rings Luke exclusively. As soon as he picks up his phone, two additional buttons will appear at the bottom of the app. One will say merge calls, and one will say cancel, right? So if he says, yes, I am available to be part of this conference call, you just press the merge key in the bottom left here. If he says, no, unfortunately, I'm not available, you press the cancel key. What does that do? What's the underlying behavior of cancel when you do a consultation? It drops Luke from the call, takes you right back to Susie, right? So I can politely explain to Susie, unfortunately, Luke is not available at this time for a conference call. Can we reschedule something? Okay. 